We have a large supermarket chain in the UK called Asda, which is now owned by the American company Walmart. And they do various own brand products, including this LED lamp. They have quite a range of these, but they're all based around what you might call the same um, LED engine inside. And most of them are rated at 4 watts. They, they do other ranges, but um, I was quite more interested in the lower power range because um, I prefer lower power LED lamps just in terms of their ability to dissipate the heat properly and protect the LEDs. So this is a 4 watt LED lamp with the standard Edison screw base. That's not so common here, which is probably why there were quite a lot of them left. And I also bought the candle version, which has this cap on the top instead. I took the candle one to bits and then liked it so much I went and bought one of the other ones, the, the other one that I was showing you there. First thing that's quite unusual is I thought this was glass coated in plastic because it seemed really hard. And it took a fair amount of effort to get off because it was kind of silicon gooed in. A sort of, well now I'm actually feeling it. It feels kind of, it feels silicon rubbery but it also feels kind of plasticky glue. Um, which would make sense, I suppose, given that it is a plastic object being stuck into the housing. The housing has a <coughs> neat LED array. As it seems to be quite common these days, they tend to go with either half watt or one watt rated LEDs and they use a cluster of them according to the wattage. So this is a, a really smart arrangement, it's um, what you'd expect, it's the aluminium core PCB with the four LEDs and the um, PCB itself mounted onto this sub aluminium assembly with heatsink compound and that is then screwed onto this aluminium cup. And the aluminium cup um, is part of the housing. It's physically inside this plastic bit here. So um, the uh, aluminium housing has a circuit board in it, which looks like this. And it's got an insulating cap in the end with the, with the allowance for the wires to come through. And that's all then physically put into this aluminium housing and then it's potted in from the other end with a white silicon goop that's a, it's dry, it's the rubbery silicon stuff um, that's used to dissipate heat from all the components inside. This one was again an Edison screw type lamp but there's nothing really major going inside, they're, they're not hiding many components in there. Although the capacitor did go in uh, and the, the inline fuse. Um, which is probably indicative, given the size of the capacitor, of the same assembly being used for small Edison screw or small bayonet cap, you know, because they're small enough that they can fit into quite thin um, housings. The circuitry is unusual. It appears to be a buck regulator. Um, it starts off with the mains coming in, but there's a, a metal oxide varistor, there's a bridge rectifier, um, some filtering with a little choke here and some filtering caps, then the buck regulator um, based on a little two-pin transformer um, and this chip. Now the chip is called a TCP1213 which might be a date code and the manufacturer, not 100% sure, um, certainly the 1213 suggests 12 week of 2013 or, or the 13th week of 2012. The other number in it, under it is CDO8617, you know I should just show you this, because um, you can see if you can find any information on it, I certainly couldn't. So TCP1213, CDO8617, and then capital T, small n, capital D, 3221. Um, so not something I've really heard of. In use they don't get too hot, which is quite nice. Uh, they seem to be designed to couple some of the heat into the uh, shell of the socket they're put in, which is reasonable enough given that uh, certainly tungsten lamps certainly make that shell hot, so I don't see it's unreasonable to dissipate some of the LED lamps heat into it, although kind of unpredictable depending on the type of socket it's put in. But I kind of like this. That's why I bought another. Um, it's, it's quite a smart little assembly. It seems to be quite well engineered um, and with good thermal connection to actually take the heat um, into the into the housing. Yeah, you know what? Not bad at all. But 
Here's something interesting. They are very obviously clear in their stocks. So I wonder if they're actually getting rid of them to replace them with a, a new era of lamps. Because I also noticed at the same time that their main rival, Tesco, was streamlining their stock of lamps. And this is my favourite lamp. And they were reduced from about £5, this is my favourite Philips lamp, to £1.25. So I, I went in a bit of a bang orgy there and stocked up in them because I, I do quite like those lamps. But yeah, um, pretty good I have to say. Not bad at all for a generic supermarket brand.